answering your messages. <coughs> I'm just talking. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. It's here, so then you're going to use Superbase with Spelt Kit. Spelt Kit, Spelt is like React, or like it's a JavaScript framework, but it's much simpler than React, much newer, nicer to work with. Uh, I've never used it, but uh, should be pretty easy. From what I've seen, of like videos and stuff, pretty easy to pick up. So, yeah, this is the link I sent you. It's going to have you create a table in the SQL editor. Uh, so, you need to create a table, uh, and it's going to include the following. It's going to, the table is going to be called countries, uh, and it's going to have columns. One's going to be ID, one's going to be name. And you can essentially just think of a database table as an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, and ID would be in the first column, name would be in the second column to the right. <coughs> and then when you insert rows, same thing as an Excel spreadsheet, you know, just putting data in the rows underneath the columns, or underneath the, the column names, so put in United States, Canada, Mexico, or uh, names of countries. So, whatever. so copy this, uh, and go over to the project. I've created a test project uh, in Superbase. I'll go to SQL Editor, because it says your project's ready, create a table in SQL Editor. Your table in your Superbase database using SQL Editor in the dashboard. It's the following SQL statement to create a country's table with some sample data. So copy, paste, run, success. Now you have a database table uh, called countries. States, Canada, Mexico as the rows in the table. Cool. Now we'll go to create spelt kit. App. Again, never used spelt before, but this is what you have to do. So copy this terminal. Terminal. Command line. Brings down the terminal. I'm changing directory space dot dot that goes to the directory of directory above where I was just at. And before I was at my home developer advisor, now I'm at developer. MKDIR make dir means make a directory and we can say call it anything. Uh, let's say whatever book card. Okay, change directory cd book type boo and I'll go into it. And now we can list, there's no files, this is just ls. Now we can run that command that we copied here. So we have npm installed. npm create spelt at latest. Oh, that's not what I want to call it. So I'm going to do control c to cancel that. Do a list again to make sure nothing was written to this directory. Run it again and or paste it again, but now we'll just call it um, mm, B. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Card. It's going to install some code to be able to use Spelt. Just hit enter because it says OK to proceed. The Y in parentheses means yes is default. Now it's asking, OK, which Spelt app template? Demo app showcasing some of the features of Spelt Kit Player Word guessing game that works without JavaScript. Uh, skeleton. 
project. Everyone's scaffolding for your new library project. Okay. JavaScript, not TypeScript. Like additional options, these are the keys. ES lint for code linting. Linting is just a, um, it's like a check when you're writing the code uh, to make sure you know you're not um, doing anything. You're not writing code that um, won't work. So yeah, let's put that on. Add prettier for code formatting space to put that on. It just makes the code look nicer automatically. And playwright for browser testing. Probably don't need that. Probably don't need the unit test. Hit enter. Cool. So now it's saying uh, your project is ready. Yes, link prettier. Type checking with TypeScript. Yeah, I uh, didn't really want to do that with TypeScript, so maybe it's at this point just hit no instead. But whatever. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm just gonna redo this again. So I'll do rm rf. That means remove recursively this folder called bkcid-app. Now we're going to do a list, same thing again, nothing there. So now I'll just copy and paste the, or just I can keep, press up to find the command I ran before. And again, I'm just going to rerun this because I didn't want to use TypeScript. Hit enter, and spelled kit demo app. No. Add type checking with TypeScript. No, don't need it. Yes, lint. And prettier. So right now I'm just using the arrow keys and spacebar. Okay, so now we're back. You can see there's this folder called book card app. And change directory into book card app. npm install. This will Actually, we'll just do a list to see what's in there. Right now, it's got a readme file, package.json, which is like a JavaScript sort of file that um, has the configuration info. We can do that. We can look at it by saying cat package.json, and cat is just like a program that will print the contents of a file to the screen. Let's see, the name of the app is that book card app version 001. Uh, it's got some scripts that you can run with npm, like r npm run dev, npm run build, npm run preview. NPM run. So basically a bunch of shit that uh, npm run preview will um, you know, launch it in a browser. Uh, npm run lint will do what I said before. It will check the code um, to make sure that you're not doing anything that doesn't make any sense. Uh, npm run format will make the code look nicer using the prettier uh, command line program. Basically it's just saying, okay, when I run npm and anything put in scripts, uh, you can use, you can call from the command line within this folder um, by saying like npm run dev or npm run build. Preview, etc. Uh, I mean, I can show you now too. Just say with npm run dev. Oh, actually, I need to install first, which is what it says here. npm install. So, just, oh, and then dev dependencies. These are just like the packages, the code um, that are required for this project to work correctly. And these are all like installed by default when you. Uh, 
you run this one. npm create svelte latest. npm is a package manager. It'll go out and get the svelte kit project. And included in that is all of these other packages that the svelte kit project needs to run. So. Okay. Um, steps npm install npm install now it's gonna basically go out and get all of the download all of these packages because all this is saying is oh this is what the project needs and so now npm is using this package.json file to go out and get all of these packages download them and then you can see when we do ls which is again the command to list the files in the directory. You could say ls node modules because it's a folder here. Hit enter. And these are all of the folders that were installed, or all of the code that was installed after we ran npm install. And it's a lot more than this because each one of these are their own projects, and each of these have all of their own dependencies that they need to run. So you can see like beat, beat should be in here somewhere. So here's beat, and then beat will probably have its own, you know, actually we could probably look at it. So constructing new modules beat list, and it's got its own package.json. And if we cat that, we can see all of its dependencies have dependencies. You know, it's just like acorn, acorn walk, CAC, just a bunch of random projects code um, that makes this other package called Veet work. And Veet is like a um, it's it's like a tool to uh, to package up the app and ship it and make it run and work in lots of different browsers. So but yeah, so for example, micro match. I bet if we go back and into change directory dot dot to go into the next folder up, we can see micro match mini match. Huh, interesting. Anyway, these are all the projects. <laughs> I don't know exactly where it installs them to. It might actually, uh, let's see, it actually probably, for V, it probably it's installs it into its own node modules. Uh, no, I don't know, actually. I forget, but anyway, it's not important. So, change directory, basically what I just did there is dot dot forward slash is one directory up, dot dot forward slash is another directory up, back into book card app. So now we'll go back up to the instructions we've already installed. Now we run on git init and git add all and, and git commit initial commit. You should do this because source of control allows you to keep track of your uh, state of your project. But you don't have to do it, but it's good practice. So now you've got say like git log and you can see okay uh, at 1828 I just did it's basically like a checkpoint it says I committed this code and you know at this point I'm uh, like I can do whatever I want and I can always get back to this state of the folder no matter what files I change but you don't have to uh, npm run dev. So now, got everything installed. We can just copy this one. The last step, npm run dev dash 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 open. It should open a browser. 
<laughs> and we've got a functional Svelte Kit app running in the browser. Start playing around with things, and it works. So yeah, that's all you have to do to get a Svelte Kit app uh, running. And yeah, so now we've got that. We can go back to uh, oh, okay, super face. So, what do we do at each point? Just keep coming back to where we left off. So we did this, npm create. Now, next thing it's saying, okay, we want to use npm again. And like, notice we're not just copying shit, like exactly as it is, because we have to think like, okay, what did I call my app? I didn't call it my app, I changed it to, I'll do control C to stop the app. And what did I call it? BKCRD dash app. Right? So now I can just do, well, it doesn't matter because I'm already in that BKCRD app folder. But I can find that out by saying CWD, which means uh, actually, no, PWD, print working directory, I'm in the book card app. Say npm install superbase. So now we want to install the superbase packages. Okay, actually, we can see first uh, cat package.json again. And you don't see superbase in here at all. No superbase. And it's because it's not currently needed for this application. But we want to use superbase, so because we want to hook up to the database and the authentication. So we're going to install the superbase package. Clear it. And then we have package JSON again, just to show. And then we'll do this. Copy. npm install at superbase. Dash. We have to do this in the same directory as the package.json file. Otherwise, it doesn't know what project you want to use it in. And so list, again, package, cat package.json. And when I write, like say pack, and then it auto completes, I'm just pressing tab. And then if I press tab again, it says, oh, there's multiple. Is it package dash lock.json or package.json? You can just keep pressing tab cat package JSON. And we've got new dependencies. This is one I just added. Superbase, superbase.js. So that's installed now. Now we want to create the superbase client. So source lib superbase client. Create a source lib source slash lib directory in your spot kit app. Create a file called create uh, superbase client.js add the following code to initialize the superbase client with your project URL and public API anon key. Project URL public anon or API anon key. Create client. So it's basically we're saying this is the project. I want to use it with that I've created in the web browser. Superbase.com. Use the URL. Use the public anon key, and then that's how your code syncs up with Superbase. So again, uh, okay. You can just do code and dot if you have VS Code or Sublime Text or whatever. Just open this directory. Again, we can say PWD to 
get the directory that we, uh, you know the folder that we want to open. Since I have code installed VS Code, I'll just do code space dot to open the current directory. Say, said, source create source lib directory su base client su base client js. So, okay, there's a source lib, and now this folder is already in there. So, just call what is it? Uh, what do I call it? Su base client. So, we've got this JS file, and now we want to, instead of having this dummy string, we put in our URL. Again, same for the public and on key. S to save it and actually yeah if you just saw that you can when I saved it since we have the prettier installed right when I save it every time you save the file it uh it formats the code to be a lot nicer so you can see like again like I'll just command Z this is what it looked like before but with prettier when I save it makes things prettier so now go back again. What are the next steps? So add the following code to initialize the base client with your project URL and public monkey. Did that. Query data from the app. Use load method to fetch the data server side and display the query results as a simple list. Load method, okay. Load to fetch the data server side. Display the query results as a simple list. So source routes plus page dot server dot js. Create plus page dot server dot js file in the routes directory with the following code. server so just create a file plus page dot server dot js and I've never seen the plus page dot server or like the plus sign before the page so I'm assuming it's uh, like a uh, it's like a thing that it's felt does uh, for some reason uh, it's probably like some reason for the why there's a plus before it but i'm not sure but, uh, yeah, just plus page dot server dot js and then we'll just copy this again and if you look at it copy it into the page we just created plus page dot server dot js import super base super base client uh, oh, that is in lib images we don't want it Move it. Okay, so it's back. So now it's source lib superbase client. Okay, and now superbase so is basically just saying load it from the library superbase client. Again, this like dollar sign format, it's probably just like some form. Um, customary way to like do it to look for the library folder the lib folder in uh, spelt kit um, 
can imagine it maybe it's just like okay at the root of the source folder maybe that's what that means it doesn't matter I mean you can look it up but I'm, I'm guessing that's what it means but yeah so Superbase client yeah so anyway we're copy and paste the code like it says here if you look at the code that it tells us to copy and paste we're saying load const data equals await superbase from countries superbase dot from countries dot select return countries this is just saying if there's data uh, basically the data so this is the variable we're getting from the database this is an ajax call like a fetch request to the database from the javascript code it's saying put it in a variable called data get the get the data from the countries table that we created already here using this code create table countries in the database now we've added some rows to it it's already up in super base in the database table now it's called and the table is called countries right Country. so now we want to wait using the super base client that we've set up using our custom URL and our API key now we can use Superbase to or use the Superbase client to get the data from the countries table and we're going to call select on it get later if you need to you can call insert or delete you know any of the basic like database commands and then this is just saying like return countries uh, return an object um, where yeah so we're in the load function we want to return the data that we get from the database in an object and uh, put that data on a key on that object called countries so we can see that happening uh, again so yeah we did that place the existing content in your page plus page spell file in the mods directory with the following code okay so we'll just copy that and look for plus page spelled okay I'm saying we place all of it I don't think we have to or maybe we do I don't know actually I'd yeah doesn't highlight because I haven't got spelt things installed but let's search the marketplace for it spelt for VS code okay and now it should be highlighted yep so now we've got spelt integration and just side note this is prettier again it's what I was talking about before, it's the code formatting makes the code look nicer. Okay, maybe, I guess, yeah, spelt language support for VS Code. So, so okay, there. And then it says now start the app. So we can go back to the terminal. We're in the, again, print working directory. In bookcart.me, do we see a ls? Do we see a package.json? Yes, we do. So we can just say npm run dev, I think. So npm run dev. And again, that's just going back and saying, okay, we've got a scripts folder, or we've got some scripts in the package.json. So that means we can run things. We can run npm run dev, npm run build, npm run preview, and then that's just a shortcut for this thing called Vite, which is like another program that you can run that says, okay, start up a dev server um, and start just you know serving the content uh, for um, for the app. Right, let's, show let's look at what is Vite. Front end tooling, next generation front end tooling. Get ready for development environment that can finally catch up with you. Server start. So it serves files, it does like um, you know, automatic restarting of the of the of the application uh, when you change files. 
it has like you know things for TypeScript, React JSX, like you know, basic things for front end development, and then it'll like optimize your code when you want to ship it to production. So it's like smaller files, just a bunch of uh, tooling or random things that you want to do to um, to uh, to make all of your code like good for production, basically. You don't have to use it, but it's you know, the way most uh, frameworks uh, they use something like this, like Vite or I don't even know what what the new ones are, but yeah. So now we're running, and there it is. So you can see it's running, and what we're printing out here is the results. Uh, that are in our database uh, and yeah basically because we've put this on the load function in Svelte and we're getting the this this is the one line is what basically fetch data from an external API in this case the countries table like the from city base it knows you know, where we're getting this database from and then I guess in the load yeah let data export page dot spell export I don't know what this is saying but it's again it's like some something specific to spell um, that lets us use that data that we've got here this is you know not standard JavaScript it's specific to spell but you know you can learn the basics of spell pretty quickly I'm sure um, I'm like why this is available here uh, but yeah that's basically it so you can imagine if you had another table say or actually yeah, let's insert a, some a row and I'll just say uh, the ID of four and the name is North Korea so we've got North Korea now back here, refresh, and now we can see changes in our table. Yeah, so now we can see North Korea, and we can change it in here as well. So that's getting database, getting data from the database, setting it up um, using the super base client, uh, setting it up in SvelteKit, uh, and then displaying it. And so what this is saying here is, just, I guess this is, yeah, this is just a unordered, unordered list. And then this is again some uh, Svelte specific code, hashtag each data dot countries as country saying like okay for all of the countries in data data here countries data oh, it's returning oh, okay so export let data yeah I gotta look into what this is how what the format is all about here but I imagine it's just like okay um, the data from the server is called country Mainly, I just wanted to show setting up uh, setting up the server. So that's it. That's it. Now there's other stuff. So like, if you want to insert data. Insert. Let's see. Or insert data. Okay. So again, it's doing the setup. I've already done this. Fetch data. Insert data. This 
one. We'll copy this code. And then we can say like um, put a button that one clipped. Google it. Spelt. click so it says okay this is how you handle a click in spell it's a lot easier than react so we can use this and we can say okay to basically uh, we'll put this in the script area on the page dot spell and then I just we can test just to make sure that this works button it should create an alert like it does there no more alerts save it lots more alerts okay so now we've got a handle a click handler and then we can go back to superbase again just say okay. Uh, copy this code, and this is what we want to run. Um, that is clicked. Okay. So what's this saying? It's saying oh, it cannot use a wait outside an async function. Okay. Does it give you any options? Quick fix. Add async modifier for containing function. So we'll just add an async before the function because this an asynchronous function it means it's asynchronous which means because it, it like doesn't follow the normal uh, flow it does some like JavaScript will say okay this does something that will take a long time so we're gonna put it off into like a background into the background for a little bit uh, and then when it's ready return it back to us that's all that means save that and now I believe that when this is like again, just a longer way of saying superbase stuff from again but what we saw here this should be See, check the console. Yeah, no, it didn't work because no API key found in your request hints no API key request header or URL. Param was found. Okay. Interesting. Maybe this first spell, this code needs to.
I don't know. Wow. Did it work? Did it work? Okay, we'll have to check the network call because we're sending. Yeah, it looks like it did work. Because these are not red, so. That should finish loading. data to the database now by clicking on this. It's going to let me do it again with the same ID. Probably. Yeah, no. But if I change it, maybe it'll say writing data to the database and I guess like last we can say something like um, you know, how to how to put get data data is felt uh, in public. Yeah, this again looks much, much simpler than, um, than React, but we'll see. It's general rule data flow and spell is top down very clear. The preference job plan is clear. I guess it's not too early to run. I guess I'll just choose another button. I don't want to put that in there. Okay.
that it uh, got an error immediately saying, okay, that's not available anymore. Yeah, punch one is not declared. Uh, and then save it. And now we can just say instead of hard coding it, we just put country name in. All right. That should work. I mean, I'm basically just creating a random integer, but in a real app, we could just say, like, uh, um, oh, keep track of the ID and increment it. So this doesn't really matter. No, I think. I have to refresh for some reason, but anyway, that's uh, 